Bremerina and Magdeburg will have the first possession of the game. Fabregas. Breaks the way of Salstrup, who bounces it over. Broke to the Dane, but he couldn't finish it. Yeah, yeah, Omar. Salstrup is yeah, yeah, Omar off the post. So neither side how high the stakes are. You've just seen it in the opening passages of play. Two and a half minutes gone, and finally we get the game's first score. It is Omar Magnussen with. Should be the equaliser, indeed it is. Ludovic Fabregas equalises for Veshbrem. Listen, to stop in his tracks. Kla now has to shoot, does shoot. Brilliant save that from Mike Jensen, just with the trailing leg to keep it out, and he turns. Remini stepping in and finding the corner. So quick was his left arm there that the goalkeeper completely unmoved. Innocence, but didn't quite succeed on that score. The official's not been duped. That's nicely done, Salstrup, there's the save from Jensen, but he won't collect the rebound. Felix Clark quickly there to force it home. With the empty goal, so they need to be cautious here. For possession, Remili, nicely done, the Kemper comes off perfectly. And Veshbrem now getting, and unable to escape the attentions of Fabregas. Felix Clark gets his second in a row, we're all tied up at three. Remili forcing it wide, Vila Pau steps in off the wing and hits the post, they've struck both posts now. Oh my yay earlier on. Neither side has enjoyed anything more than a one goal lead at any stage of it. Oh my yay has shot, well saved by Sergei Hernandez. Quick change allows Ligit Vadi to get back on, but not before Musha buries it to make it Magdeburg 4, Vesprem 3. Remy Lee did just sneak in, despite the best efforts of Sergei Hernandez. Hernandez. And another quick fire goal, this time it was. Oh my, yeah, yeah, that was loose. Remy Lee did well to pick it up and then find Fabregas, looped in beautifully. Such poise for such a huge man. Yeah, yeah, that's Remy Lee. Another good save from Sergei Hernandez. Clark. Could really work up to a teammate instead. Felix Clark brings up his hat trick. To give Magdeburg back the lead, and they've made a save, and now made a save, and now they're clean through for 7 5. Yes, Christian O'Sullivan with it. Need to get a shot away sooner rather than later. Veshbrem, they do that. Sergei Hernandez, his full body behind it. O'Sullivan keeps it moving. Clara again. There's another goal for him. Or risk losing the ball. Remy Lee. There it is. That's what Magdeburg need. A little bit profligate in possession there, Lucas Sandel. All the time in the world for Salstrup to bury it. The defence went missing there. And Inquis going. There's Remy Lee again stepping in and again scoring. It's the Remy position this time. Remy Lee. Another two minute suspension. Time might be turning here. Oh my Yahya missed. They need to score this. Disca. Doesn't deliver. It's another miss. And had they put to Mikhail Damga, who got the two minute suspension. Christiansen, nicely done, Salstrup, never misses those. Chopped down the space in the middle. Fast break here, open goal for Deska. Trying to up the intensity, the fans behind the goal that they're defending, but instead, it's a miss. Well, he was clean through there, Albin Lagergren. And yet, the match, to cut this deficit back down to one goal. At one stage, it stood at three. Will it be one? It will, because Casado. Brings it into the corner. So in fact, Bennett Viga expressed surprise at how high the points tally is. In fact, they're not already clear. Musha. But they hit back 
Ekstrem which looked unlikely just a few short minutes ago. Kosorotov is on, Sandel has a bit of space, which he exploits to the maximum. And that gets the crowd going. Lucas benefiting from a shoulder injury to Rodrigo Corrales to be in the squad at the Euro. Passive play might just be an eventuality, but no. Matias Lucia scores again. He's had a flurry of goals now. Again, the onus is on Veshprem to try and respond. Casado for Kosorotov. Sergei Hena, Veshprem if they are to get the better of the Spaniard. Russian born. Jensen, it's only his third save, but he celebrates it nonetheless. Again, it wasn't the most difficult. These are the all important minutes of this first half. Yes, it's not terminal if a team makes a mistake. Kosorotov did anything but there. Successful throw into the corner, a dozen goals each. Yeah. Unless they can get the shot away. Need to show some intent here. Christensen tries to do just that. That's a really good finish under pressure. From Kisley. You have to shoot. Otherwise the officials will provoke the turnover. Casado. In it goes. As we move towards the half-time interval. Christensen. Yeah. Slow rotations before they try and increase the tempo. Sandel for Kosorotov and now Casado. This is Sergei Hernandez. Magdeburg quickly up the other end, but it catches the frame of the goal. And Christian O'Sullivan. Let's try to turn. Kosorotov. The disguise. Eventually Fabregas shoots, and he does so convincingly into the roof of the net. Two in a row for Ludovic Fabregas and find an equaliser in the end. next 10 seconds. Klar. Klar again. And they have got the goal. That all important victory over Magdeburg to end their streak. A reminder. Especially with so much pressure on Fabregas at the line. Here he is forcing it wide. And the shot goes into the top corner from Nikita Heilepal. It's a good save from Jensen. Is that the turning of the tide? But that was a mistake there. Magnussen stepping in, gets it back again. Magnussen went the low. Three for three for him. There's another save from Sergei Hernandez. Just continues to contribute. Thumbs up from him. There is some pace off the ball as well. Smarason. In it goes. I've got another one here. Janusz Smarason, Remini, Eldera, good save again from Sergei Hernandez, that's just... He might be an early contender for player of the match. Eldera tries again, this time he finds the winning formula. That was more like it from Yehia Eldera. Like it from Yehia Eldera. And Jensen with an all-important save to deny Omar Magnussen. Omar Magnussen found the angle, found the finish. Here's his compatriot. Nicely done. Fabregas forces it home, 17 each. Fabregas thus far in the early conversation as to who might be the key performer tonight. That's a nice goal. Beautifully constructed. Smadison there. Remy Lee is back amongst us, having served that two-minute suspension. What a fucking finish that was from Ye Eldera. Now it's 18 all. Southrup, Jensen makes the save. One Dane denies another. Speak Hungarian to join in on that chart. Veshbrem, Veshbrem. Barely seen any of Tim Horncrum is near side the right wing. Instead, it's with Magnussen. There's Jensen again. Veshbrem is still 36% for Magdeburg. Hernandez still has the edge, and that will help. Uh, what passive play. Now the hand comes up from the officials. Smarterson, Klar. Very. He who's so prolific. It's... But here was the. Graceful from Veshbrem. Musha scores. Error and a big one as well from Sandel. And Musha was never likely, but having been tip for tat, it started to change, but that could all shift again. Indeed it does. Sorted home by Bjarki Elison. First real news. 
Madison. There's Jensen, but it will be a seven metre throw. Opposition player was trying to shoot. Speaking of trying to shoot, it's Omar Magnussen from seven metres. Yes. The Magdeburg goalkeeper thus far. Eldera with all the time in the world to finish it off. Yeah, yeah Eldera, he took a heavy fall there in completing the finish. But he did what was required of him. And he's also scored three since the resumption. The home crowd booing now because they fell. That wasn't their necessary. Smarterson. Magnussen has got away and found Musha. There's Jensen. And that elicited a huge cheer there, unsurprisingly, because Jensen's statistics have been on rolling, keeping it out. And now a chance to equalise here for Veshbren. Yes, Sandel does exactly that. The drive towards the line, they've lost control of it again. And Ye yelled it out with an empty goal to give Veshbren the second half lead. Stepped up his play. It's Jensen and Eldera in particular for Veshbren that are turning things around. Hornker slots it home. Magdeburg equalise. Tim Hornker finally coming to the, to the final quarter of the match. Ye yelled it out. This time it's saved by Hernandez. That's a good save away to his left. It's just now he served his two minute suspension. That was a fake to shoot. Hornker for two and two, yes. Suddenly he's found a bit of form. Emily for Sandel. There's Hernandez. Perhaps shooting from a little bit too far out at times, Veshbrem. Clark. Michael Four can Barca on penalties in the semi final and extra time against Frenchman. Maé. Needs to score. Maé doesn't score. It's Sergei Hernandez again. Extend the lead here with Magnussen. Klar keeps it moving. Klar spotted space. He slots it in. What a sticks. We're into the final ten. Feshbrem needs to overcome a three goal deficit. Feshbrem's rivals actually picked Seged at the end of the season. There's the Kemper. There's the save though from Jensen. Came in with huge height there, did Klar. He's trying to close in towards double figure. Magnussen just clipped the out. Know that they have to shoot sooner rather than later. How many passes have they got here? Given away by Musha. Did well there, yeah, he did out because when he stepped inside there, that would have been a penalty throw. Instead, he was off the ground when he handled the ball. This is Agustin ticking towards that similar mark themselves. They need to score, they don't score. Again, it's Hernandez. That was a tame effort from Remy Lee, given just what a Viga would do that, even if they had four goal lead rather than two. Clark's another goal. It's got Magdeburg on the cusp here of winning this 12th match in a row, but he could do nothing about that. But then Magdeburg score. Jensen couldn't get back. Their goal was in vain. Agustin Casado scored. For Hernandez himself shot and shot errantly. Jensen's fresh friend. Who's going to step up? Yeah, he held it out, tries again. Hernandez makes the save. Good attempt there from Fabregas. That's all he could do is dive forward and try and pat it into the net. But Hernandez has the ball. Magdeburg have the lead, and Magdeburg seemingly have clock is stopped on 27 minutes and 36 seconds the shot does come in Felix Klaan up to the final four they're gonna have to do it the hard way going via the playoff round Fabregas does back a goal Magdeburg to completely lose their heads here they're not going to do that with Smarterson in fact they score and that is Jing that his team have done enough they have surged away in this second half Fabregas gets his ability to keep denying Telecom, Feshbrem, Musha, can't They'll be one step away from again being at the final four where they triumphed last year. Yael Dira denied. Fabregas there to celebrate their 12th kids. Sergei Hernandez, the better of the two custodians, and he guides Magdeburg. In